you look so fantastic. Speaking of looking fantastic, our next guest, she used to walk runways all around the world. And like us now, she's cooped up at home juggling work and three kids with some very creative thinking. Oh yeah, this photo went totally viral and why not? Come on, it's so fun. Great sense of humor, everyone. It's Molly Sims. Hi. How wow. are you? Molly, you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad I could join you guys today. I also noticed that you're rocking a beautiful pale color in the waterline of your eyes, which is making them look oh so sparkly. Oh, so sparkly, just a little bit. I love beauty and makeup and all things that, and all things that are pretty. Let me just start by saying, I, look, there are plenty of websites out there. I've poured through so many of them. Yours really is so much of a cut above. It is so elevated. It's such an Thank amazing, you. wonderfully, like, navigational site. Um, and all those no, things no. count. Yeah, we really wanted to have a place where women could go and, you know, be a mom, be a partner, be a girlfriend, be a wife, but also the products that she needs. It's all curated. It's a one-stop shop. I really do love it. I mean, we have great gift guides that are curated. We have real articles. I lost my mom this year and we talk a lot about grief and we talk about girlfriends and just really digging, just digging a little bit. Um, deeper than before. This year has been such a year of loss and such a year of new experiences and new coping mechanisms. Yeah, I never thought, you know, I never thought that, listen, she was definitely sick. I just never thought that I would lose, you know, my best friend, you know, during, during a pandemic, you know, but it's been hard, you know, but it's also, it's been great because I've had such a great community reach out to me and I've had great people to speak to. And it's just, it's definitely, you know, a process. And I think sometimes in our business that we only show like the filtered Instagram, like perfect part and life's just not like that. You know what I mean? Sadly, more people can relate to your experience of going through something so difficult than they can the fabulousness. And um, this year I actually spent Thanksgiving alone and I hadn't <laughs> done that since I was in my twenties. And my yeah. kids were with their dad this year and they just kind of wanted to do their own thing. But I, um, it, was, it was just such a different holiday and such a different year for everybody. And I, I can't tell you how much that, how appreciated your candor and being able to share that with people. It's going to touch people so much because unfortunately, again, sadly, there are so many people who have experienced oh. so much loss this year. And when they look at a beautiful, kind, a uh, woman like you, and they see themselves and their experiences, that's what makes your website so much more. And I must say, Molly, that I really think that you should write a book because <laughs> one of my favorite things about your website is what a great writer you are. You took a nighttime routine and turned it into something <laughs> that I was so transported to. And it just had this honesty and this humor. I literally, I was like <laughs> doing something in my closet. I was probably either eating in my closet, drinking in my closet, sleeping in my closet or hiding in my closet. <laughs> but it's just, you know, it, you have those moments of like, you're literally going to have a nervous breakdown. And then the next time you're like, oh my God, I'm going to just, I'm just going to laugh at like the craziness of all of it. But yes, I love being open. I think sometimes we do, you know, cover up the things that people kind of want to see. And, you know, my kids sometimes literally look at me and they're like, we, you're, you're literally going to, you're going to really tape us to the ground. I'm like, we're going to have so much fun. I'm going to get something done for 15 minutes. <laughs> Everybody loved that post. I saw I it 
And I was like, that is so cool. That is so clever. Yeah, we're in real life. You're in it. I'm in it. You know, it's like, okay, it's like, am I ready for 2020 to be over? I have to say I'm ready for 2020 to be over. But it's, it's some good things have come out of it as well. Um, I was making a joke to my daughter and I actually put in, I have this like 2012 um, a Honda Odyssey minivan and I love it because <laughs> it has like a big screen in the back. I have a Chrysler Pacifica minivan actually. Oh my gosh, I'm looking into it because I'm trying to oh find a hybrid minivan and it's like the only one on the market. I love my minivan. I, I, I'm obsessed with my minivan. It's awesome. Also, I know this is going to sound bad, but I want my children as far away from me in my car as possible. Like if I could, I'd drive a stretch limo with the thing that went up. So I put on Groundhog's Day for them. And none other than Andy McDowell do I see on a news program the next morning. And someone's like, oh, Groundhog's Day, isn't that crazy? And she said, yeah, but you know, that movie is actually about living the same day over and over so that you have a chance to reevaluate your life so you can do things differently. And I was like, whoa. You know, <laughs> this year has definitely taught us, like you said about Groundhog's Day, it's like really, you know, those days you do get to have over and over now. And, and sometimes that's not all bad, you know. Molly, um, will you come hang out with us right now for the next segment? I really don't want to say goodbye. I love hanging out with you. You have so much to offer the world and you have so me beauty and mollysims.com. Will you come hang out with me? Us? I would love to.